What is going on everybody? Welcome to the new video and guess what? The male's here! Come on! It's mail time. Talked about this in a couple other videos. I got a new camera. It is the Canon G7X, not the Mark II. The Mark II was like 700 bucks. Like, I'm not spending that much on a little point and shoot camera. So this one was about 500 Canadian dollars. I got it used all the way from Japan. I ordered it Friday and this is Tuesday morning that it came. So all the way from Japan, that's pretty good. Free shipping too, so here's hoping it's legit and it's not like a piece of paper inside. It's got some good weight, so that's a, that's that's a pretty good sign. We're gonna open it right up. I don't know, there's not much talking I can do right now. I'm super hyped for this camera. Obviously, this is gonna help me. It's gonna be a lot easier to vlog in a lot of different places and just be a lot more convenient than taking a big, heavy DSLR around. Obviously, this DSLR was good for a lot of stuff, like fisheye. I'll use the fisheye a bunch and I'll still use it, but this is just a second option for filming. Let's open it right up. I'm hyped, like I'm so hyped, you don't even know. It does come with a battery. And a charger but I did order an extra battery and some screen protectors for it on Amazon so those are coming soon but I ordered them late because I didn't know it was gonna come this fast <laughs> I did it one set of bubble wrap good sign good sign good sign oh I see the box okay we have an official Canon box good sign number two map camera that's the shop I bought it from all the way from Japan, they answered all my messages super quickly. I had a few questions about it. So it seems like a really good shop. As you can kind of see, it says PowerShot G7X. It's nice when you're buying used you to have the original box. Like, that's kind of a neat feature. That's nice. This looks so good. Canon G7X box. Let's go, boys. I got to take it on the Instagram. You know, you know where to follow me, boys. PowerShot G7X, as you can see in the box here one little tab below the box is in pretty good condition like that's a pretty nice box open it up little flap lots of flaps as i can see right there it is the canon camera <laughs> bro i want to be so gentle with it oh it has some good weight it's actually kind of heavy for a small camera but that usually means it's good quality because if it's cheap plastic that's not a good sign so here's the strap it looks like almost literally in its original packaging. It's all wrapped up very nice for a used camera. This is crazy condition. We'll put this to the side just for a quick second. Check out what else is in the box. I'm probably never going to use this strap, so we're going to put it right where it was. Hashtag useless. And the battery charger. That's, the, that's a small charger. <laughs> that charger is tiny. Like compared to my hand, I'll show you guys my other Canon charger. This thing's small compared to that. Okay, throw these wrappers back in and we'll open up the camera. I'm pretty sure the battery's inside the camera already. I think it did say on the outer box. Okay, here it is. Oh man, that is nice. That is so nice. Flip up screen for those vlogs. Oh, dude, I'm hyped, I'm so hyped. First, let's turn it on. Oh, that's very nice, dude. Oh, it's alive. It's alive. Oh, you want to see some camera inception? Hello? <laughs> I'm going to play with the settings. We're going to get this SD card in. Test this thing out. I'm super It looks pretty good so far. So ready? Three, two, one. I don't want to touch it. Here we are on the G7X, guys. Oh, it's actually pretty nice. I'm just holding out with my hand. Decently wide shot actually. I thought it'd be like this and if I use my gorilla pod, it'll be even wider I think I'm only on 30 frames right now. I haven't really figured out any of the video settings, but Walk around a little bit. It's touchscreen like I've never had a camera that's touchscreen So I can like touch if I want to focus there. I can touch there and it should focus over there So I'm super hyped. It looks very good on this little screen right now. We'll flip it around try some focus tests Pull up. I want those to focus in. Oh already focused Oh wait, it's on 60 frames now, boys. So it should be a little smoother footage video. Shouldn't be as much stuttering. Not stuttering, but like, it should be smoother than the 30 FPS. I have it on the Gorillapod now. So the video should also be a little more stable and not shaky with my hands, with my excited hands. So this thing's so nice. Natural light, it's obviously gonna look really good. So the low light test, we'll have to, here, we'll go in the shade a little bit. Here, we're in the shade now. The focus is so fast. 
I don't even know if I've ever even had a camera with autofocus. I'm not even kidding. Now we gotta go check out our family's reactions to the camera. Let's head inside. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Touch screen too, look. Door test, we can just see how the camera looks inside. Lighting's pretty good. It's actually pretty dark in here. Okay, there's some shade on my face. Guys, I promise I didn't say what you think I said. I said shade. Dog, you like the camera? You like the camera? Learned lots from that response right there. Whew, I'm so hyped. This is just too nice. Too nice. We're back in the room, back on the main camera, and I just want to show you guys something. Here are the two chargers. This one is just so teeny tiny compared to this big thick Canon one, and this one's just so small. So, so much easier to transport. Everything about the camera is just easy to move around and easy to transport. It's amazing. That, it, that's exactly what I wanted. We almost forgot the most important part of, of the video. We gotta get, we gotta get a fanny pack testing. See the fanny pack, the Dickies, the trendy Dickies fanny pack? We gotta get a test. Oh! Yo, fits perfect. There. Front pocket, of course, fits right in there. You can't even tell it's in there. It's just that small. Canon fanny pack test time. I think, I think, I think this one should be able to fit in, right? I, I, I think it fits, yeah, it fits, it fits good, right? I think it's working. Yeah, I, I don't know if this is really gonna work, dude. Okay, here's an autofocus test. Clicking on my camera, focus back on the fanny pack. Already focused back on there. Let's go to the teacup. Focused on there. Dude, this thing is so good. Overall, I'm super, super stoked with this camera. I honestly, I really love it. It might be one of my main cameras now. One of mine, like I literally have two cameras, so it's like they're both good for different stuff, but I'm probably gonna be using this one a lot more. Shoots higher quality video too. Just so much easier to transport. So, Canon G7X in 2019. Canon G7X version one in 2019. Is it still good? From what I can tell here, yeah. Like, touchscreen, Wi-Fi capability for an app still. Like, I really don't think it's outdated at all. And the upgrades from the Mark I to the Mark II really aren't that substantial. Nothing much changes. You still got the touchscreen and a lot of the key features on this, on the first version, so. If you're looking at getting a G7X and the Mark II is a little too expensive for you, definitely check out the Mark I. I really do believe it is still a great camera, even in 2019, however many years after its release date. That is going to be it for the video, guys. Thank you so much. I apologize if this one's a little short, but this is one of many more to come with this camera. It, just, it really motivates me to make videos too, and just I'm super stoked to use it, get familiar with it. So. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe below. Peace out.